Hi guys. Dialpad and Grasshopper are two of the most popular business phone systems today, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Dialpad and Grasshopper, and we'll consider four criteria to see how these two tools stack up. We'll leave the link in the description and you can use it. You can start with the free version, and if you like it more, you can upgrade risk-free. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. And let's start with the pricing. If you're an entrepreneur, a growing business, or a small business owner looking for a reliable and affordable phone system to manage your calls, then Grasshopper might be the right choice for you. They offer three pricing plans tailored to fit different needs. First up, the solo plan. For only $28 per month billed annually, you get one phone number, three extensions, and unlimited users. It's perfect for entrepreneurs who want a professional phone system to manage their calls effectively. Next, the Partner Plan. For $46 per month, billed annually, you get three phone numbers, six extensions, and unlimited users. It's suitable for growing businesses with one to three employees who need multiple phone lines to manage their incoming calls. Finally, the Small Business Plan. For $80 per month, billed annually, you get five phone numbers, unlimited extensions, and unlimited users. It's perfect for small businesses that require more flexibility in call routing options. Keep in mind that the platform offers discounts for plans built annually. Prices are higher if you pay monthly. Now let's talk about Dialpad. They offer three main plans, Standard, Pro and Enterprise, along with a room's license fee. They accept all major credit cards and offer month-to-month -month billing. Starting with a Standard plan, it costs $15 per user per month. $23 if billed monthly. It includes unlimited calling, SMS and MMS, AI-powered call and voicemail transcriptions, Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 integrations, unlimited video meetings and web and chat support. If you need more advanced features, you can upgrade to the Pro plan for $25 per user per month, $35 if billed monthly. You get all the features of the standard plan, plus local number support in 70 plus different countries, multiple phone numbers per account, 25 ring groups or departments, 10 office locations, global SMS capabilities, CRM integrations, Salesforce, Zendesk, HubSpot, Zoho and more, open APIs and webhooks, and 24 seven live agent support. Finally, for those who need the most advanced features, there's the enterprise plan. It includes all the features of the pro plan plus 100% uptime, unlimited office locations, unlimited ring groups, dial-by extensions, integrations with leading SSO providers, Octal, One Login, Azure AD SSO integration, data retention policies, and priority live agent support. Contact Dialpad for customized pricing. And for the features. Dialpad has a lot of great features to offer, but some of them come with an extra price tag. Toll-free numbers, for example, will set you back an additional $15 per month or $17 if you opt for monthly billing. If you need to port in more than one phone number, be prepared to pay a pretty penny for that too. Even on their standard plan, you're limited to ring groups of only three users. And if your international texting or auto replies, you'll need to upgrade to their pro plan. Plus, if you need an additional number for your team, you'll have to upgrade to pro as well. But on the bright side, you do get voicemail transcriptions and unlimited messaging within the US and Canada. However, many of Dialpad's features are geared towards larger contact centers that require AI-based live coaching. On the other hand, Grasshopper's users' experience is outdated and has been a red flag for many previous users. They offer basic business phone functions such as conference calls and custom greetings, but there's no access to call recordings you won't be able to text anyone outside the USA or Canada, and toll-free or Canadian phone numbers don't support MMS. Plus, if you have teammates that need access to the same business number, there are no shared numbers available. You'll have to pay an extra $10 per month for each user to receive incoming calls. All in all, Grasshopper doesn't offer much in the way of competition to Dialpad. So if you're looking for a business phone system with comprehensive features and functionality, Dialpad is the way to go. And for the integrations, Dialpad offers a variety of integrations with popular CRMs and productivity apps, making it easy to streamline your communication 
and manage your customer data in one place. Some of the integrations include Zendesk and Salesforce, two of the leading customer support platforms on the market. By connecting Dialpad to these tools, you can access important customer information and interact with them seamlessly without ever having to leave your phone system. On the other hand, Grasshopper may not offer as many integrations, but they do allow you to forge your Grasshopper number to other accounts like Google Voice, Skype for Business, or any other service that supports call forwarding. This can be a great option if you're already using one of these tools and want to keep everything in one place. And for the pros and cons, while both Grasshopper and Dialpad offer unique benefits, there are some key differences between the two that are worth exploring. Let's start with Dialpad. Dialpad Pros. Chrome extension. With Dialpad's Google Chrome extension, business communication is always just one click away. The extension allows you to start calls directly from someone's contacts card on Gmail and click to call workers with the extension too. The extension also works on Edge, Firefox, and other Chromium browsers. Free video conferencing. Anyone with a Dialpad Talk subscription gets free video conferencing for up to 10 participants with Dialpad meetings. Upgrading to the paid plan allows for up to 100 meeting participants and removes the time limit altogether. 100% uptime. Dialpad offers an unprecedented 100% uptime SLA for all users. Thanks to its unique software architecture, this means you never have to worry about down downtime hurting your business operations. Dialpad cons. Rare bugs. While it's hard to find cons for Dialpad, some users have reported rare bugs, such as incoming calls failing to ring. No desk phones. You won't be able to use desk phones unless you upgrade to the Pro tier or Dialpad. Now let's take a look at Grasshopper. Grasshopper Pros. Custom Numbers Grasshopper helps businesses establish a professional reputation through vanity, toll-free and local numbers. Using a custom number can make your brand more memorable, accessible and appealing to customers. iOS App Grasshopper has mobile apps for both Android and iOS platforms, with the iOS version receiving significantly better reviews. 99.999% uptime Grasshopper offers a 5.9's SLA and reliably consistent uptime. Grasshopper cons. Lacks features. Grasshopper falls short when it comes to features and integrations. If you're looking for video conferencing, task management, file sharing or CRM integration, you'll likely have to pay extra for third-party tools. So choosing between Dialpad and Grasshopper depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It will depend on your current needs. In conclusion, both Dialpad and Grasshopper have their pros and cons. If you're looking for a phone system with a Chrome extension and free video conferencing, Dialpad may be the right one for you. If you need custom numbers and reliable uptime, Grasshopper may be a better option. Ultimately, it's important to consider your specific needs and budget before making a final decision. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps too. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.